Iraqis living in Jordan and elsewhere abroad casting early ballots this morning in Iraq's parliamentary election. The main voting in Iraq takes place on Sunday. CBS News correspondent Elizabeth Palmer reports from Baghdad. This week, violent extremists who had been warning they would disrupt Iraq's election did stage successful bombings outside Baghdad and also right in the city's inner neighborhoods. The recent suicide attacks show that bombers are able to move their bombs through a vast network of Iraqi police checkpoints. Checkpoints that are well manned with the election coming up, but that have a fatal flaw. It's called the ADE-651 explosives detector. The maker claims that as long as the operator moves his feet to generate static electricity, the device will point out hidden guns and bombs. About 2,000 of them were issued to Iraqi police, but the trouble is, it simply doesn't work. They're totally useless. The, the, I, I called them the big lie. The U.S. military warned Iraq's government not to buy them. And a few weeks ago, the British businessman who made them was arrested. So why are Iraqi police still using them at this critical time? There is no shadow of doubt in my mind that there is a corruption behind it. In other words, a scam that may have made millions for crooked officials, but that's now putting lives and Sunday's crucial election at even greater risk. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, Baghdad.